Previously, on Kingdom Come Deliverance. Sir, I bring an urgent message from my father, from Saradzig and Hanush. You didn't expect me to leave all the glory to you. Never. We wouldn't dream of starting without you. What news? Did you parley with them? <laughs> God be with you, my friends. We'll wipe those whore sons off the face of the earth. Where's that Hungarian bastard? Why isn't he here? Don't tell me no one was in command! What are you saying, you horse son? Townberg. Did he go to Townberg? <laughs> You'll never get him! You'll never get... Old! Who goes there? Greetings. Especially now, when treachery and deception surround us on all sides. Get out of the way! The devil lurks in the shadows. Come on! And one fears taking a guest into his house. Come out, you rat! and fight like a man! <laughs> I don't think so. I like it better right here. I have some trophies. Show me. So many. My lad, you're like the smiting right hand of God. I'm ready. Are you sure? You should wear lightweight black clothing. Anything you don't need, you can leave here. I don't want you clanking around in plate armor. Yes, I'm ready to go. Farewell. If any of you are having second thoughts, this is your last chance to speak. Very well. So I hope we're all clear on what has to be done. We need to free the hostages to deprive Toth of his advantage. Now he'll be keeping them somewhere where they can be guarded, but somewhere separate from his other men. And where would that be? We always kept our captives in the house on the bailey by the stables. What if they're in their tower or somewhere else? Then we'll have to go to the gate and try to open it. But that will take time and attract attention. So we can only do it if we know exactly how things stand. And if they sound the alarm, before we've done anything, we get out of there quick. Understood? And leave them there? Better a couple of hostages than a pile of corpses. Lord Capon, are you quite certain you want to engage in this action? Quite. After all, it can't be much different from sneaking out of the upper castle in Rate and back in every night. <laughs> Besides, who else will keep this hothead from raising bloody mayhem? Well, see to it that you do, my lord. May God guide our footsteps.
This will be something. There'll be ten stories about this baby. We'll go first and take out the sentries. Wait here. What are they waiting for? Quiet for fuck's sake. What are they waiting for? Why do I bother asking? Oh, be quiet and watch that light on the battlements. Fuck this waiting, I'm gonna climb. Put on his armor and watch this side, but there are still two guards on the portcullis winch to deal with. Any volunteers? Henry will do it. T buffoon? Henry then. Just make sure you keep quiet. We can't get this moving without being noticed. First, we have to find the hostages. It'll all go a lot easier if no one sees us. And fooling around with the portcullis is bound to draw attention. First, we have to find the hostages. Then we can come back and deal with the rest. Easy now. We're almost there. Let's not fuck it up at the eleventh hour. Here. All doors lead to the courtyard. All it takes is for one man to go for a piss and he'll see us. Jesus, get a fucking move on, man. Patience, he has to move. Any time now. Ugh. 
Fuck. Fuck. The alarm's been sounded. This will be something that we tell stories about this man. Yes. Unless. We'll go first and take out the sentries. Wait here. What are they waiting for? Quiet for fuck's sake. What are they waiting for? How should I know? Why do I bother asking? Put on his armor and watch this side, but there are still two guards on the portcullis winch to deal with. Any volunteers? Henry will do it. Buffoon? Henry then. Just make sure you keep quiet. Here. All doors lead to the courtyard. All it takes is for one man to go for a piss and he'll see us. Easy now. We're almost there. Let's not fuck it up at the eleventh hour. Jesus, get a fucking move on, man.
We're fucked. fucked. Run for it. Yeah. Uh, There's nothing more we can do. We'll go first and take out the sentries. Wait here. What are they waiting for? Quiet for fuck's sake. What are they waiting for? How should I know? Why do I bother asking? Oh, be quiet and watch that light on the battlements. Put on his armor and watch this. Any volunteers? Henry will do it. Buffoon? Henry then. Just make sure you keep quiet. First, we have to find the hostages, then we can come back and deal with the rest. Easy now! We're almost there. Let's not fuck it up at the eleventh hour. Careful here! All doors lead to the courtyard. All it takes is for one man to go for a piss and he'll see us.
Jesus. Get a fucking move on, man. Patience. He has to move. Where's Sir Ratzik and Lady Stephanie? L Lady Stephanie? She's not here. She must be held somewhere else. Where? Where is she being held? And where's Sir Ratzik? I suppose the lady might be in her chamber. We don't know anything. They herded us here and told us not to move a muscle. Farewell. Damn it all. We'll have to go back empty-handed. I really thought we could pull it off. We're not going anywhere. Not without my father and Lady Stephanie. And how are we meant to find them? They're not in the stables or anywhere nearby. You want to creep right inside the palace where Tot's men are everywhere? Yes. We can it was hard enough getting this far. But going inside is madness. What good will it do them if we get caught? Then we mustn't get caught. Listen, Hal, I can appreciate your stubbornness, usually. But this could cost us our heads. At least we saved those other people. I suppose you're right. It would be foolhardy to go on. Well, I'm glad you've come to your senses. Let's get the hell out of here, then. Come on then, let's get the fuck out of here before they catch us. Gorova! Fuck my ass! I'll have to carry him out arrow right in my now. Ass. See for yourself if you don't believe me. If you don't get a move on, he'll stab you in the back right under my nose. Faster! Where is everyone? Quick! There they are. This isn't very comfortable. Can't you stop hopping around with me? My arms is killing me. Over Run here. for Christ's sake and don't Quick. shoot me so much. Hey, run for oh, Christ's sake here. and don't the shoot me so Raise much. Watch out! Quick, they're right behind us. I have to admit, we didn't do too well. True, the shame of it. They drove us back before we even got anywhere. It's worse than if they'd killed us. <laughs> well, I wouldn't go that far. We had to give it a try, if we succeeded. If pigs had wings. Now, I know it troubles you, but it's not over yet. We'll rescue the hostages and hang that bastardish fan.
It seems, Robard, that we're running out of options. We don't have enough men to scale the walls with ladders. And we can't afford to lose any more. We can only take Talmburg by a ruse or with superior numbers. Ruses have failed, and we don't have superior numbers. Then we are left with no choice but to build a trebuchet. To demolish my own walls. <sighs> Where is Master Faithor? He's waiting. We sent for him as soon as... Bring him to me. Let's not waste time. Sir Divish. You will build me a trebuchet, Master Tobias. Uh, uh, a trebuchet, my lord? That's not uh, entirely in my field of expertise. We have to take back Talmberg. Yes, indeed, sir, I understand and that. you but... are the best engineer we can rely on in the whole fiefdom. Oh, well, thank you, my lord, but it's, it's just that I've never built a trebuchet before. It's, this could take some time. Then you'd better get to it. Bernard will go over the plan of attack with you. Uh, I... Uh, uh, oh. Well, Master Tobias, you have much to do in little time. I will not keep you any longer. Indeed. Of course, sir. Thank you, my lord. How are the preparations proceeding in the other camps? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. There are still many things that need doing, but I just don't have the time for them. Mm. No, you don't. Henry. Yes, sir. I would like for you to help with the preparations in the encampments. Gladly, sir. Mm. Robard will brief you. That'll be all. What needs to be done? Look, a military encampment's a complicated thing. I don't expect it to be as peaceful and orderly as Holy Mass. But what we have here now is havoc. The men are as nervous and short-tempered as caged bears. When you walk around the camps, you'll see for yourself. Grumbling everywhere, complaints about everything from the gruel to the fleas. They're moaning they've drunk the alehouse dry, and now they have to wait for the next batch of beer. <sighs> We've got dead who deserve a decent burial, and a lot of wounded, including one of their lordships. The less the troops grumble, the better off we'll all be. But that's not even the main problem. What do you mean? Did you hear what Sir Jivish was saying to Fafar, our master builder? I heard some of it. And what did you make of it? He said he'd never built a trebuchet catapult. I wouldn't even know where to start, but he might. But, if it'll take him as long as he said, we can't wait until Judgment Day. We don't have that much time. I'll try to ask him if I can help in some way. You should definitely do that. Without a trebuchet, we're much too weak. Is there anything else I can help with? Well, we need some pitch. I know you had dealings with the charcoal burners. I've met a few, true enough. Then have a look around the area. If you manage to find any pitch, bring it to our quartermaster in the camp at the quarry. I'd like to get better at fighting with a mace. Certainly. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it will cost you. Now, pay close attention.
Yeah. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? Goodbye. How are you, my lord? How do you think? That slimy toad has my blood boiling. If I get my hands on him, I'll rip his black heart out. Only I've been handed the job of guarding the western route, at the quarry, and there's not a damn thing happening there. Well, at least you're out of archery range of the castle. True, but it's not much consolation. If the men don't get something to do soon, I'll have to put them to work in the quarry. Idle hands are the devil's tools. Sir Hanush, do you think Sir Radzig is all right? Oh, don't worry. He's more used to Toth alive, so he's in no danger for now. For now? Radzig's a man who knows how to take care of himself. I'm more concerned about Lady Stephanie. It would be dreadful if anything happened to her. How do you think the siege will go, sir? Better than it has done so far, I hope. First, we lost your lord and father, and then our nighttime assault failed. I'm sorry we didn't succeed. It would all have been over by now. But at least we got out alive. If the two of you had been left behind, Istvan would have had another pair of hostages. Oh, let's pray our fortunes improve. But I'm a bit worried about that trebuchet. I don't have much experience with engines of war. Even if we do drive Toth out, there might not be much left of the castle after we've done it. It was a pleasure to talk to you, Sir Hannes. Likewise, Henry. Take care. Oh, oh, oh me, me, me. Sleep. Jesus Christ be praised. How are we doing with the food? Who wants to know? One of their lordships? No, no. I just wondered if there was anything you're short of. Oh, I see. The lordling is wondering if we're in urgent need of anything. Well, well. To tell the truth, we don't have much meat. They bring it round often enough, but never as much as they should. Yes, I've heard something like that. <laughs> I'll say. Every other man's moaning on about it. The gamekeepers are doing all they can, but they can't keep up. So, if you know how to help them out, bring it right here. I'll take care of the rest. Fine. I'll keep that in mind. Do we have any beer? Christ, I wish we did. Our ale's all gone and we've drained the local inn dry. That's bad news. 
Don't I know it. You can't go and catch a beer in the woods, either. But if you happen to know about some, let's hear it. News like that, it refresh me almost as much as a drink. And the lads, too. Take care now. Waking me. Go away. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? Sir Robard sent me to you. He said you have to build a trebuchet. Indeed. A trebuchet that can smash the walls of Tamburg. I, a mining engineer, what do I know of war machines? I'll never manage it on my own. Well, I'd like to help you, but how? I don't know anything about trebuchets either. Actually, there is a way you could help. Conroy Kieser came to Sasso recently. If you could get him to come here, it would save my skin. Conrad Kieser? Who's he? He's a scholar who studied medicine, but he also designed siege engines. He even took part in the siege of Nicopolis, together with Sigismund. You're still an engineer, though. Couldn't you build it yourself? Are you serious? Do you know how complicated such a machine is? What forces are at work in the contraption? If we were lucky, it wouldn't fire at all. Far more likely, it would smash itself to smithereens and kill lots of us instead of the enemy. He was with Sigismund. It's not so straightforward. They quarrelled after the battle, after Conrad blamed their defeat on Sigismund. Hmm. I don't suppose he took that too well. Quite. That's what led to Conrad being banished from Prague and making a base at Bethlehem Castle. Banished? Like a common criminal? He was a member of the court and a doctor and a master engineer, so nothing quite that bad befell him. I've even heard he has a whole host of wise men with him and they're writing some book together. What's he doing here in Sasso? They sent him over here to help with building the monastery. No doubt they had to pay handsomely to get him. And how am I supposed to get him here? Abduct him? Well, only if all else fails. We need his cooperation. Try having a word with him. By all accounts, he hates Sigismund. All right, I'll do what I can. Thank you, Henry. Maybe we will build that trebuchet after all. Take care now.
Ya. you did how are the men holding up they're a rabble the out-of-towners are desperate to go home and the locals they've got nowhere else to go so they're just generally complaining are they causing trouble no trouble as such it's true I've caught a few of them asleep on their watch there's nothing a couple of lashes of the whip can't cure but well, there might be a simpler solution Whipping a man, simple enough. Just give one of them a beating, the others will remember. And when they forget, do it again. But then you'd have an injured soldier. It occurred to me a herbal potion might do the trick. I never heard of any wives' quackery helping troop morale. But Christ knows they could do with something to flush the booze out of them and keep their eyes open. How goes it, Sir Bernard? How goes it? We're sitting here under the castle, and all day long there's folks hewing stones. My ears are ringing as if I'd been struck on the head, which is just how I feel. I've felt that way too since the night of the attack. That went horribly wrong. And even so, we were lucky. Could have gone much worse. Goodbye. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? How do you feel, Sir Divish? How's the shoulder? I felt better, boy. Ugh. I feel awful, truth be told. And my shoulder's paining me. Let someone tend to the wound and you'll soon be better. The flesh can be healed, perhaps. But the spirit... Henry, can you do something for me? What is it you need, sir? I need a priest as well as a physician. The closest was in Rovna, but I don't know what happened to him. And then there's the one from Ujits. What's his name? Godwin. But why would you need a priest? The wound will heal, especially with the help of one of the monks. It's not about me. I've got a lot of wounded here that won't see mourning, and dead men, and I have to confess my sins. Take care.
There's something I need from you, Father Godwin. Is there, my son? How can I help? There are a lot of dead and wounded at Talmberg, and no one to make the sign of the cross on their foreheads. I'd like to help, but sadly I simply can't. My own parishioners are watching me closely, and if I make just one false move, they'll have the bishop down on my back. But Sir Divish himself... If he wants me, let him come and speak to me himself. But I'm not going anywhere. It's your fault I have to live with a sword dangling over my head, Hal. And don't think I've forgotten it. I never forced you to do anything. And just because I didn't help you out, you're denying God's forgiveness to innocent strangers. How dare you? Do you think I'd stoop to such pettiness? My reasons are honourable. All right, all right, I understand. So why don't you turn it round on them? Why don't you say you'll go to Talmberg because it's the right thing to do and your Christian duty, even though you might be shot in the process, like that saint? Sebastian, that might help, I suppose. But tell me the truth. Is the air really thick with arrows? It is a siege, but all the camps are well out of range, so you don't have to worry about that. Well, I'll see how the martyr the mangle works and then I'll go. At least getting out of here for a while will give me a break from all those judgmental looks. To forgive is human, damn it! Or is it to err that's human? I can never remember. God be with you. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. See you later. then.
come over here. I'd like a beer. Jesus Christ be praised. Andrew, there's no more beer in Talmberg, and the soldiers are starting to grumble. Can't you send some there? I could. <laughs> there's nothing in it for me. Just as a matter of interest, who do you pay your taxes to? <laughs> You're saying I should be paying the Talmberg to old Sir Divish? <laughs> when Sir Havel of Valdeck was the master here, I managed to wriggle out of it. <laughs> Nobody's come collecting since. Well, right now, there are three noblemen camped by Talmberg, one of whom might be very interested to learn about all the Does tax you owe. I imagine he might want to collect it in the form of beer. Hmm, when you put it like that, I have got a few kegs I could send over. I won't lose out too much. They'd always spoil if I kept them longer, and I'd have to throw them away. Just remember, if you poison them, they'll hang you for it. Those yeah. soldiers yeah. drink it up long before it has time to go off. And what's more, what with all that cabbage being eaten, it wouldn't occur to anyone the shit's king courtesy of the beer. I'll have them loaded up right away and taken there. And give their lordships my regards. Yeah. Tell them I'm sending my best beer as a gift. Why the devil shouldn't I get some goodwill out of this at least? Bottoms up! I'm God be with you, Henry. Greetings, good knight. How may I serve you? I'm looking for some pitch for Talmberg. Already? What happened to the last lot we supplied? I don't know, and it doesn't matter. Do you have any, or don't you? I do. I had a buyer lined up, but it's been a while since he showed his face. What do you need it for? Talmberg's been taken by a horde of brigands, so we're laying siege to it. We could use some pitch. Christ, blood. I hadn't heard the news. All right, it's all yours. You gave us a hand with that ginger when we needed it, and if it's for Sir Divish, I know my duty. If you want to haul it away yourself, feel free, or I can get someone to deliver it to you. Thank you. God bless you. See you later. Let's hunt something, eh? Hair. Thank you. 
Mi a szar volt az? Rossz helyen vagy rossz időben? Keci! Mit csinálsz? Itt nem látok. Megjött a mulatsa. Nem vagy. Hey! Ja! Igen! run off again. Oh dear. Where is that dog? Oh, he's run off. I hope he comes back.
Mert! Oh, Sakra. He's run off again. Come on then! Gone weak at the knees, have you? Vic? run off again. Oh dear.
God be with you. May the Lord watch over you. I've come to ask for help. Again? Such trying times we live in. God is testing us all. So what is it you need? Their lordships have laid siege to Talmberg, and the brigands have wounded Sir Divish and many other people. I'm to ask if the monastery might send someone to help. Sadly, I can't assist you. I have many needy folk right here requiring my constant care. I can't just leave them. And what if I helped you out here? You'd have more free time, and there's a wounded nobleman at Talmberg who needs a proper physician. Yes, then I'd be willing to go, but not until everything has been put to rights here first. Very well. Where should I start? Talk to your Hanka. She knows what's needed. Goodbye. I can't sleep again. <laughs> You're not from Scalet? No, but please help me. I can't stay here. Is there anything I can do to help? It looks like they took care of your wounds. When I was little, my father got trampled on by a horse, and an old hag from the village gave him some kind of purple herbs for it. And he got better very quickly. And do you remember what the herbs were? I don't. But there's supposed to be the whole cursed knowledge of the world in this place. Something has to be written about it. A herbarium. Anything. I'll try to find something. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Hopefully I have what... <laughs> Thank you. With any luck, I'll soon be feeling better. If you find the time, stop by to see me in a few days. Take care. Henry! How are the sick and wounded faring? I don't think there's anything more I can do for them. You did what you could. <laughs> Truly. I don't know what I would have done without you. You saved a lot of lives. Good luck, then. Come to our Okay. Their lordships have laid sea. These are tragic times. Thank you, Father. May God reward you a thousand times. Good luck then.
One out, please. For the house, garden, and field. Noise, taxes, break. Oh, that's the best point here. Good day to you. I need to bring a few to Townburg. What? May the Lord for the Lord. Oh, here, What else do you need? Here. Come on up and see. Yeah. Mother of God, you look like you've been... I need something to keep our soldiers awake. Do you know of anything that might help? I do know of a concoction to ward off sleep. I can teach you how to make it if you like. But I need enough for at least a hundred people. I can't help you with that. You'll have to brew up a bit at a time as it's needed. So, do you want to do it or not? No, I need someone who will do it. I'm sorry, but... I need... I do know... 
That would be very helpful. Goodbye. Good luck then. Yeah. Ještě si já, ještě si já, pohár vína zaplatím, potom sa já, potom sa já, to je milé. Good day to you. I brought you some meat. 
Stack it over. What's going on? I've arranged some. You're up. The charcoal, but. That's handy. Well, he can stop worrying. Good. I'll get someone to take care of it. Farewell.
God's blessings. Take care. Yeah.
job. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. I brought you some meat. Stack it over. That's the lot. Great. If we're really going to have to storm the walls, then at least it should be with full bellies. Oh, and here's something for your trouble. Take care now. Yeah. 